welcome to Metal Detector Wisconsin. I'm in uh, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Spent about 45 minutes on the beach my first first morning here and found a piece of jewelry. I think it's just junk, but I'll show it to you in a picture later. But I just had a, I think it was coming in like a 12 or 13. And I got my first coin. Not sure what it is. But hopefully I'll get in maybe three or four, three, two, three hour hunts. Try to get out here early in the morning. We're out here uh, scraping the beach, cleaning up the beach this morning already. So I'm going to get at it, see what we can find. So I'm working this water, I don't know what they call it, the, where the brave, brave waves kind of break off. And found two U.S. coins so far, both dimes, one of their foreign coin, and then that uh, coin I showed you earlier. This is my first time ever on a saltwater beach with a metal detector, if you can believe it, in 40-some years. I just have never traveled with one before. But it's kind of interesting. A little bit of experimenting. I'm using a Beach 2. Modified it a little bit. I can't tell you exactly what I did to it because I did it before I went left for the trip. So, But we'll keep at it. I got a couple more hours this morning. I'm going to before the family wakes up. Well, this is a wrap up of this morning. Ended up with two Roosevelt dimes, a Jefferson nickel, Memorial penny, and four foreign coins. No jewelry. This beach, saltwater beach hunting is new to me. And I'm not really sure exactly where I'm supposed to be, but I'm going to show you the uh, trash that I dug. I got quite a few targets. Kept me busy for the last, for the last past three hours. So I'll be out again tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have something shiny to show you. Well, this is what I got for today. I spent about three hours out there, mainly working in the water. 22 coins, no jewelry, a little disappointed. There's all the trash I dug today. So I got one more day here, or yeah, one more day basically tomorrow morning to detect. Maybe I might go out this afternoon too, I don't know. This was coming in as a nine. I got my first ring of the trip. I don't think it's uh, gold or silver for what's for the size of it. No markings. I'm guessing it's probably stainless steel. Still, it's a cool find. Not like extremely heavy, but I'm pretty sure it's just stainless steel. It's not, just by the numbers alone. If it would have been silver, it would be really high. If it was gold, it would probably be in the upper teens, low 20s at least. So that's cool. Got a few coins today. Okay, we'll get back at it. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me very well, but I'm out working the uh, water knee deep to chest deep. I'm just getting a nice 14. And I got first gold of the trip. So look at that. The bottom of the scoop. Get out there and see if you're close. Uh, I'm it out already. I saw a on the inside. 10 or 14 feet. 
That's awesome. That makes my trip. I hope you can hear this. There's my son, he's parasailing with uh, one of his friends, girlfriend. It's starting to go up. I'm in the water detecting so I took a break. I think that ring that I found is uh, actually gold plated silver. The numbers, I guess, are a little too high for now that I think about it for the size of the ring. And uh, my daughter looked at it and thought she saw a 925 in the, on, mar on the marking. It's a beautiful day today. There's the resort we're staying at. Well, here's the final take from the uh, Punta Cana trip. That's the jewelry I found. Um, the one ring my wife has had on ever since we got back, so uh, she loves that ring. It's a wave ring. 925 is what it turned out to be. Uh, I was hoping it was gold, but it, it wasn't. So it was just a uh, silver with a uh, gold plating on it, I think is what it was. So the other ring is stainless steel and the other two pieces of jewelry there are junk. Ended up with, I think it was 17 foreign coins. I think one is from Russia. And I'm not sure where a couple of the other ones are from, but the majority are from the uh, Dominican Republic. There's the American clad I got. So overall, it was a great trip. Fun uh, hunting for the first time in saltwater. Looking forward to doing it again. Definitely going to be traveling with my metal detector from now on. So thanks for watching.